Hey, what's up, comic book fans? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner, and guys, we're getting ready to do another comic book review. And this is a biggie this week, and I'm going to kind of put my foot in my mouth in this one because on the podcast on Tuesday night, uh, I was telling Mark Corn TV that Vibe, you're actually going to read that book. And let's just say I just got done reading Vibe, and this was quite the read let me just say so so you guys out there that are on the fence or laughing at this particular character vibe you might want to think again nice book jeff johns has done a nice job in writing it his co-writer in the actual book is andrew uh Grisberg, and uh the pencils are done by pete woods and the inks are done by sean parsons the cover's really, really nice looking. Um, at first, I thought, who is Vibe? Like, seriously, this guy reminds me of the Shocker from Spider-Man. Like, come on, seriously. Uh, I was like, this is so generic. And, and I just picked it up because I wanted to make fun of it. And I can't. It's, it's a good book. It is really a good book. Art is phenomenal. This is one of uh, Darkseid's creatures. And... Uh, Here's another scene right here um, where our main character, Cisco Ramon, is doing some battle against the creature. And uh, here is one other page here where, starting tomorrow, he's going to join the Justice League of America, according to the book. And let's just say... I'm not going to give away the whole story in here because I want you guys to read it, but I really recommend this book. The book has lots of dialogue. Jeff Johns wanted to get across his story of this character and let you feel for this character right off the get-go because he's joining a major team and he's going to be a major character. Now, this character, um, Cisco Ramon, who is Vibe, he just doesn't like vibrate things and things just shatter. He opens up dimensions and does trans, trans portal drifts and all that other crap. So he looks like he's got some power. And in the book, he's a young kid. He's maybe 18 years old, if that. And he has to learn to control his power. Um, in the beginning of the book, the origin is his older brother... Um, his name was Armando, who tried to save Cisco because he was getting into one of those dimensions from another universe. And he pulled him out, but his brother sacrificed his life in order to, um, to live. So ever since that day, Cisco Ramon has had powers. And uh, the book does a really good job of describing when this took place. And um, it really goes into depth about how the two brothers that are rema remaining, Dante and Cisco, how their relationship is and how their relationship is with their father. And let's just say that um, Cisco now gets recruited by Angus. And um, he has to do battle against one of the creatures that are hiding out in the house. How that transpires, you will see for yourself. Um, the book, does, again, doesn't have lots of action. It has a lot of dialogue, so again, you'll have to read it. And let's just say that our buddy is signing up, and if it doesn't work out, Amanda Waller is going to lay down the, uh, the axe on our butt vibe. So we will see what happens. In the last page... And I got to spoil this, so if you don't want to see this last page, um, just fast forward the issue, but it's going to play a major part, and it's a question that I have for all of you that I'm not aware of, okay? Because, again, I wasn't a huge DC reader. But in the last page, they're gearing up to, I guess, find out this. What is that? Darkseid's Daughter. That's what it says, for his daughter. Because in the end, it says, we need to do whatever we can to prepare ourselves for the inevitable, Agent Gunn, because one day it's all going to go to hell again. One day, Darkseid is going to come back for his daughter. So again, 
Does Darkseid have a daughter? That was the daughter ever shown in uh, in DC Comics? I'm not aware of it. So here's a question for all my loyal DC fans out there, or my uh, for all you DC fans out there. Darkseid has a daughter. I wasn't aware of that. So is she new in this book or not? And uh, again, like I said, guys, I'm sorry, but I never read really DC Comics when I was younger, only into the New 52 stuff that I really read, uh, you know, DC Comics. So it left a pretty good cliffhanger there. Um, so that's the one thing I spoiled. I really didn't spoil all that much. Uh, read the issue, go out and buy it. It's worth the $2.99. I think Jeff Johns has a good character here on his hands and it looks like he's going to be a major player in things to come. So I'm going to give this book a four and a half out of five. Uh, it was a good origin tale and it will be inter interesting to see where futures, future issues of Vibe is going to go and how well it will help hold up. Who knows, this could be the next Jeff Johns baby here with, you know, since he's leaving Green Lantern. So, guys, four and a half out of five stars for me. Pick it up. You won't be disappointed. So, guys, until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And thank you for watching Comic Book Corner. See you real soon, guys. Bye.